No one had ever built a restaurant like this before. Nobody knew how to do it. I would like to say that I know what I signed in for, but I really, I didn't have a clue. Hey chef, can I get some help with this? Of course. When I came in, it was not sure if the restaurant would be open or not. But I still said yes. So I quit my job and I said yes, I want to be a part of this. So, Chef, for the limpets, we're done. Uh, Mahogany checking the presentation. Just missing squat lobster, mm -hmm. pollock, and seaweed. Okay, well, I'll bring you today. Let me go together. Cool. The reason we built the restaurant here is because down here in the southern part of Norway, we have the biggest variety or creatures in the ocean. The weather is harsh, it's always windy. Mm -hmm. It's important to have a car that can transport me in this unpredictable environment. This is the dried truffle seaweed. You can try and taste Amazing. it. Mm, it's crispy. Mm. In the beginning, we started working on the menu before the restaurant was finished. And then when we came over to the restaurant and started watching out of the window, we changed a lot of things. It would make more sense to bring the things from the window into the dining room. So I think it was a good idea to try to make a dessert where the seaweed is kind of dancing. That's the future, to use the ingredients that you have close to you. Producing things locally is much more sustainable. It makes much more sense to use the things that's in season right here, right now. A fisherman that, that's fishing for langoustine, he will normally take the squat lobster and throw them back in the ocean because he see no value in them. But I saw a lot of value. They look really delicious, I think. And how old is the squat lobster? I don't know, maybe four, five years? For me, it makes no sense to throw them back in the ocean. It's like a stereotype. The guest doesn't really know what they are having before they come and sit down at the table. And uh, I like that, you know, to give people that surprise. That means that everything could be considered on the menu. I think I take this one. Nice white bark, not too much mush. We take the birch tree bark and we make an, an oil out of it. The bark from this tree will last for around two weeks. and the rest of the wood we use for other different things. Perfect. What is art? Art can be thousands of things. A tree in the wood can be art. For me, art is also food. Food is art. A perfectly cooked langoustine can be art for me. With the perfect balanced sauce uh, on a nice looking plate. My art, you have to kind of inhale it. Can you say that? Make sure that everything is perfect. Every day, every minute, every seconds. Uh, there's no room for mistakes. Because in a couple of minutes when you have eaten it, it's gone. 